Welcome to my lecture online. Now, what does the equation look like for the frequency observed if an object moves away from us, such as a star or a galaxy? Well, we start with the same equation where we noticed in astronomy, we use this equation all the time, that shows us that the velocity of a galaxy can be determined by taking the speed of light and multiplying it times the ratio of the change in the wavelength of the light approaching us divided by the wavelength of the source of the light. And then, if we then turn that into this equation right here, notice that now we have the wavelength of the observed frequency minus the wavelength of the source, because this is now going to be a bigger number. We want this to be positive, so the wavelength is going to stretch, and because of that, the observed wavelength is going to be larger than the wavelength of the original source. Then, if we do our manipulation, we write it as the ratio of the observed wavelength over the source wavelength minus 1, and then we employ this relationship where the wavelength can be written as the speed of light divided by the frequency. After all, we're talking about light here, and so we have that relationship. Once we do that, we end up with a velocity that tells us that an equation that tells us that the velocity of the object, like the galaxy, is equal to the speed of light times this ratio, with some manipulation, eventually we end up with this equation right here that tells us that the frequency of the observation is equal to the frequency of the source times the ratio of 1 divided by 1 plus v over c. Now remember, when we talk about the blue shifting as the galaxy is approaching us, this became 1 minus v over c, and now we have 1 plus v over c in the denominator, which means as the velocity increases, the denominator gets bigger and the frequency observed becomes smaller. So the frequency continues to drop as the object moves faster and faster and faster away from us. So, and that's what we see in a lot of the galaxies in the universe. They're receding on mass and therefore the frequency observed from each of the galaxies can be determined by the velocity that the galaxies have and relative to their original frequency. And that's how it's done.